So my hair is in its reverted prime, gray included. And I forgot what I was ranting and raving about, and the reason why, the whole reason why I went to get the camera in the first place. I'm just gonna go touch my bok choy for a minute. It's just out there looking so luscious and green. I just want to touch it. I just saw a commercial from the, the Simmons family. Pimping you motherfuckers since 1990. Since the 80s. <laughs> Somewhere in there. It's a family affair. A family affair. Like the Smiths. A family affair. My body needed uh, some protein. Although, I don't want to be drinking up Mr.'s. Oh, that reminds me of what I was pissed off about and what I originally was going to turn the camera on and rant about. I'm eating too much junk. Wipe the counter down right quick. It's actually clean for a change. <laughs> I'm clean, but not neat, y'all. And in the process of not being neat, sometimes that crosses over into your cleanliness. Man, I gotta stop that because I'm older. Ain't nobody got no room for no germs. I'm older. On some level, I'm going to be susceptible to their bullshit because I'm not getting jabbed. But in the process of not getting jabbed, that might leave me susceptible to something else. Not necessarily the K-19, but some other stuff. You know, because when they get everybody jabbed, then those people, those bots... Are no longer a threat because they can control them completely but the ones who aren't there you got to be able to i don't want to say eliminate that threat because i'll be one of them and i ain't trying to be eliminated but you know what i mean we'll be considered the troublemakers and of course you know just like the whole thing the way they're setting it up right now it's a whole new layer of discrimination and profiling so they went from vilifying anyway they're taking on a layer of vilifying mask wearers. What's crazy is that you vilifying, so you're going to vilify mask wearers or people who have not gotten the jab. When no, y'all don't know why any of those people didn't get the jab. Some of them people did not get the jab just because they don't trust some untrustworthy supremacists, which is logical. But some of them it's not even that some of them are like you don't know people business and you mad at them because you feel like oh you're helping them control your life okay they letting their life be controlled uh, you run around mass free if you want to nobody's nobody's uh attacking you and saying wear a mask now now you got what you wanted when you was fighting it when you was fighting to not to have to wear it. Now you got what you wanted. Now you got what you wanted. You still ain't satisfied. You gotta go and police every other logical adult who's taking care of themselves. Oh, that's not what that's for. Yeah. So um, I usually get this brand of tart cherry juice, right? So I decided to go for the okie doke because now this is it's, it's uh, it does say blend. I knew it was a reason. It was half the price, but it had organic and big letters on it. And it says Tart Cherry Blend. You gotta pay attention to every little fucking word they use. That, that means it ain't no Tart Cherry and nothing in none of this. That's what that means. I'll tell you that right now. Some bullshit. Lucky for them, what I really wanted was that big glass bottle. When I'm freezing uh, my juices for later use. I was looking for this. This is what I was keeping my sorrel in. It's so cute. Make sure my cap doesn't have any kind of debris on it. Because as soon as it does, I got to throw it away. Garbage. Yeah, we're going to put our sorrel in here. 
Yeah, I don't want to put, I don't like to leave this carafe in the refrigerator open like this because the the, the uh, cork comes out so easily. Kind of makes it low key useless. Yeah, so that's what I was mad about. Tart cherry juice. Like, they messed me over. They pulled a fast one on me. They got me. They got me. Wash my chicken.